Hello, hello. Okay, so the rebrand of the Sierra Schultz channel. This vlog is gonna be all about that. We've got behind the scenes of the photo shoot that we did for new pictures for the channel, changing the name, the new set, everything. And I, I'm just really excited about this new chapter for the channel. We've been doing this group content there since the beginning of the year, and it has just been so much fun. I feel like we've learned a lot, definitely still learning, experimenting and tweaking things, and just like really honing in on our style. But now that we've been doing this for a while, we are making things more official, new photos and everything. And I, I feel like I haven't really sat down and like talked about why I made these changes and like what led me to this point. And I should, like I wanna open it up to you guys about this. And I go, we actually are posting a podcast episode about this next week. Um, so I go more in depth on there, but I've seen comments like, you know, confused about why the change happened and why the videos aren't just me anymore. So let's, let's, let's talk about it. Basically last year, I got to the point where I was ready to walk away from my Sierra Schultz channel completely and shut it down. YouTube is a really strange and unique job. I'm so incredibly lucky for the opportunities that it's given me and the life that it's allowed me to have. There are so many amazing benefits. Like it's a huge, huge privilege to be able to do this as a career. But even with all the amazing benefits, I just reached a point where I wasn't happy making videos. Like the negatives outweighed all of those positives for me. I wasn't happy making that content. I hadn't been for a while. I feel like I just, I went through a huge change the last couple years. Like personally, I went through changes in like who I am. My life changed a lot and it just didn't feel worth it to me anymore to spend all that time away from my family for it. It had been eight years since I started and I felt like, you know, maybe this channel has run its course. I'm ready to close that chapter walk away, keep vlogging and podcasting, but no more Schultzy videos. So I reached that breaking point last summer and I wanted to stop, but I was like, you know, I don't wanna make a brash decision. I'm gonna take a break. I took the entire like last half of last year off from the Schultzy channel. And I was like, this will give me an opportunity to really mull it over, see what my life is like without creating that content. But mentally I was, I was pretty set that I, wasn't gonna return from that break. And then at the end of last year, my editor, Rachel, pitched me an idea that just changed everything for me. She had the idea of bringing the team into the videos and creating content as a group, and I just immediately loved it. The team was really excited about the idea. We had like so many creative ideas flowing. We were like, okay, hypothetically, what would this look like? What kind of videos would we do? Like who would be interested in participating? And I just felt this like joy and excitement about content creation that I had not felt about that channel in a long, long time. I loved the idea of getting to create content with my friends and like just bringing the fun and the excitement that we always have behind the camera in front of the camera and to, to have the opportunity to share their amazing voices and perspectives and personalities with you guys without it all just being centered on me all the time. I felt like this is something that could breathe new life into the channel that had felt stale for me for a while and allow it to live on in a new way without just closing that door completely. This seems like a real option that could work for creating content on that channel. And I knew that if I was gonna come back, it was gonna be in this format. Because for me, there was no going back to the way it was before. And I was like, okay, well then why not? Like, why not try this? I'm excited about it. The team's excited about it. Like, let's just start posting videos, no pressure. We don't have to like fully commit to anything. Just experiment and make some fun videos and see how it goes. And it was the most fun I had making videos in so long, oh my gosh. It honestly kind of felt like I, when I first started YouTube, like it felt like I was starting over again, like just so excited about all of the ideas, every shoot and creating videos that we felt really proud of. And the way we approached making videos in that like six month experiment was so much better for my mental health and well being. It relieved so much pressure on me as like the single person on camera. I really like relaxed into the experience. I think having less of the video just be fully focused on me made me feel more comfortable and 
and just really enjoy content creation again. And exploring all the topics and like doing the experiences that we do for the videos with my friends was just so much fun. They bring so much to the channel, like just showing up as who they are, all six of them, Jess, Rachel, Kenzie, Ryan, Paloma, Jaded, each of their different perspectives and personalities just adds so much to the videos. And I am just so proud and so grateful for them for like putting themselves out there doing this project with me. This wouldn't be possible without them. I I wouldn't be making videos anymore without them. I didn't think anything could bring that spark back to making videos on that channel for me. And they did, this content did, making videos with them did. And I know for some of the viewers, especially who don't like watch the vlogs or the podcast and behind the scenes stuff, this change may have seemed kind of abrupt. You know, I grew that channel for so many years on just solo videos. And now I, I'm pivoting to something new. It's a change. It's not going to be for everyone. And that's, that's okay. But for me, I needed to close that chapter. And this has given me a way to, to keep doing main channel content for you guys which I didn't see happening again after last year. And we're so proud of what we've done and where we're going. We're still, you know, we're still very much figuring things out, taking feedback into account. So if there's different ways that you wanna see the group incorporated, if you like the bigger groups or the smaller groups more, video ideas, definitely let me know. I really value your respectful feedback and having you guys come on this journey with me in this new chapter just absolutely means the world to me. I can't wait for you to see what's planned. I I have never been happier with my work-life balance. So excited about the content I'm producing and the videos that we have coming down the pipeline through the end of the year. I love being able to work with my friends in front of and behind the camera. My team is just amazing. Like I am just so lucky to get to work with the people I do and do the work that we do. Being surrounded by just the most amazing, inspiring, empowering, creative women is has been such a positive experience for me. And I'm just so grateful that we found a way together for the Schulte channel to continue on. And so grateful for you guys and, and honored to have you be part of this community. Okay, that was kind of long, but um, I do have one more thing to talk about before we get into the actual vlog part of this vlog. As we've been working on this rebrand, we have been talking about the name of the channel for months. Should we change the channel name? Should it stay Sierra Schultze? Because yes, it's it's still me, Sierra Schultze, and we're still making content on like the same type of topics and videos that I was before, but it's no longer just me. It's the group the collective. So we decided to call this new phase of the channel, Sierra Schultz's Confidence Collective. The collective is the group. It's my friends who are making these videos with me and exploring trends and fashion and self-improvement and body image and confidence, but also you guys. Like the collective is the community that we have together and what we share. And when we were exploring all of the potential rebrand ideas and name concepts, this just felt so right. So the channel's name is gonna stay my name, Sierra Schultze, and all of the branding and everything that we're doing right now in this new era of the channel is the Confidence Collective. So there's some background on the rebrand. We're finishing up the graphics for the Confidence Collective now. Those will be up soon. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here and coming on this journey with me now. Let's go back to a couple weeks ago and the photo shoot. Hello, good morning. Today is the day of our rebrand photo shoot for the Schultze channel. I'm so excited, so, so excited. We're taking new photos for the channel art, the end screens, the profile photo to match with the new style of the channel, doing group content. So everyone's coming down for the shoot. We're doing it here in my garage. And actually Tony is here, our favorite photographer. He is taking the photos. He just got here a little bit ago and he and Jess are out getting set up in the garage. So I just couldn't be more excited. We've been doing the, you know, the group content like this for eight months now, and it just feels so right. And now today is like cementing that chapter. And I just am wishing I could find another adjective other than excited, but I am so excited. So I'm putting on some moisturizer. I'm going to put on some makeup. First shot of the day is my solo shot. We're doing solo shots of everyone. And then of course, group photos. Tony also worked with us to come up with a really amazing color story that matches like each of 
of our own personalities and then works, you know, cohesively together as a group. So I have an outfit picked in my color palette. I have two outfits, one for the individual, one for the group shot, both in shades of blue and then with touches of uh, kind of like a sandy beige and a light pink as my accent colors. And then my outfit for the group shot is where I put together something uh, a little more unique. So I'm excited. How many times am I gonna say I'm excited in this video? Time will tell. Please don't make it into a drinking game. That will not go well. <laughs> and as much as I wanna do like a full talking get ready with me, because I don't wear makeup that often, I really kinda need to focus. Like I kinda know what I'm doing with foundation, but mm, not really. <laughs> So I will check back in with you guys later. All right, makeup's done. Hair is mostly done. I'm just trying to figure out exactly like which pieces go in front of the headband and which pieces I pull back. But I think I've got a pretty good balance right now. Lots of volume today. So I'm gonna try and fluff it up a little bit more. Ooh, I think I also kind of want to hairspray the top here. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. I'm gonna put on some jewelry, already wearing my shirt. I'm still in my pajama shorts though, so I'm gonna put on the shorts I'm wearing for the shoot and we'll go ahead and get started. Tony's getting the test shots. Kenzie looking gorge when it's not even your turn. I think we're really good though. I'm okay, really, really I, I, yeah, I'd love to work through just like a quick flow to yeah, get yeah. some different shoulders and stuff because I'm not totally sure exactly what I want. Gotcha. And then we can kind of fine tune as we go. The little kissy Lips face. and looking away. Honestly, I think I, I like the open mouth smile. Open mouth smile. It just yeah. it's engaging. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know. I love it. I feel so good. Awesome. All right. So next week, but Jay and I are painting everything white. But this wall, our little get ready wall, yeah. Yeah, so we get to have fun it. with. Well, this is our first draft. Oh, what we're thinking. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute and so fun. We'll have like our own legit studio. In my garage. In your garage. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so this side garage here is gonna be like our what would you call this? Like our full outfit studio? But we still have the upstairs studio for narration. This is our photo studio. This will be for like try-ons, creative shoots, really just like anything we would need to rent a studio for, we'll have in your garage. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so cool. We're rigging lights to the top here so that we don't have to have like light stands taking up a bunch of space. We'll have so much more, so much more room for activities. <laughs> I think we should get bug beds. <laughs> outfit two. Just have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously, okay? Just like move in the and forward, look okay? Just don't think about it, all right? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna move in. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move I know. Gonna, it's gonna, like gonna, that Gossip Girl yeah. episode. You're Serena and I'm Blair. Mm -hmm. Give me life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know your pose, you have you have a strong one too. You know, yes, you got it. There it is. Oh, slay. Next up! It's little baby Jay. It's me. Okay. Breathe it out. Shake it off if you need to. Recycle things if you want to. Do you want something else music-wise? Yeah, yeah. I mean Do you want create the pentatonics version? Always. <laughs> Do you want Kelly Clarkson? Kelly Clarkson or Mamma Mia? I vibe with either. Oh, there you go. That's too bad. I have no notes for you. Okay? <laughs> that was so good. So good, 
Oh my god. I'll go through the rest of these Jaden is killing it. Oh my god. Yes! Amazing, you got it. You got it! This is like so beautiful. Oh I love all the shots. How do you feel? That, I don't think it's me. Oh. It's that's you! That's crazy. And Jaden, that's what you look like. Like that doesn't, I know, I know you don't I think, think so. I think he has a thing in his camera. <laughs> I think this is the trick. There's no, there's no Photoshop going on there. That is you. That's, that's what you look like. crazy. Great job, honestly. That is oh my nice. gosh. You're yeah. too good. Thank you, I likewise. No. Ah! Yeah. Look who's here. Hello, hello. The party bus from LA. Right. We literally show up and start screaming. <laughs> Bringing that energy in for Rachel Woo! up next. Your eyes with the shirt. I know. Oh, actually, I love her. Yeah. Get out. It cut it out. <laughs> Yes, I love that. We got yeah, so, sushi well, no, for lunch. Here. Everyone's on break. Yeah. 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 So good. Had to change for lunch because uh, we don't eat in costume and we also know that I'm absolutely going to spill all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ryan's turn, so we're playing Justin Bieber. <laughs> Naturally. The colors look really good too. I was worried, but this giving. Yeah, these are great. I love these so much. Yeah. Um, and you're giving so much know. variety. Thank you. Listen, so gotta give the fans right? what they yeah. want. Great. 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 Paloma, what, what was your request? I'd like Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ah, stunning. that the pants perfectly match your hair. Thank you. Thank and the back of her head is beautiful. Ooh. Oh, oh, I love that. I feel like usually so my hair is not brushed when I come to work. <laughs> <laughs> Jess was a theater kid, and then she brings this out on camera, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, you weren't just behind the scenes. I saw you as Paulette and Legally Blonde. How do you feel, Jess? Happy. I, mean, I think this is the first time I've ever been shot by Tony. This is very, I'm very usually true. with Tony. But I'm the camera. Always. You probably worked on five or six shoots with Tony. Yeah. Uh, so Lucky many. Me. Yeah. Finally, finally. <laughs> you did so well. It's like catching a Pokemon that's really hard to find. <laughs> okay. All right, um, so we are gonna shift into group TikToks first. We finished the individuals, we filmed some TikToks, and now we are doing the big one, the group shot. I'm so excited. Added to the excited list, I said it again. <laughs> Oh. oh, you guys! That's cute. That's cute. Oh, oh my that's god, that's cute. Cute. Oh my gosh, these are amazing, you guys. Is wrapped. We are all hanging in the living room and we post made it wrap snacks. Let's see the wrap snack. Is it literally just all hot Cheetos? Different kinds. <laughs> they like hot chip. <laughs> We've got the regular, the limon, the baked. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Um, as I'm trying to make a seat for myself over here, I picked up this book, and I'm wondering what Sierra is feeding the children of America. <laughs> Education, Ryan. Education. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but I have questions. <laughs> Would you believe that it is just a couple weeks later, post rebrand photo shoot, and I am sitting here in the same garage that now has been redone and transformed into our new studio. We're filming our first new video on this set today. So uh, in a minute here, I'll give you guys a whole tour. We also reconfigured the sit and chat space upstairs. So we'll show you guys that as well. But we now have this nice little vanity area. So I'm sitting here doing my makeup, getting ready to shoot. I, I can't believe this space. I'm just, I'm so excited about making videos here and like just having so much more space. We can now actually back the camera all the way up so you can see the full outfit. We were like way more limited with space just in the upstairs room. And now we have this like secondary studio out in the garage and it is just absolutely amazing. Okay, let me go uh, grab the girls and we'll give you a tour. Okay, so it's actually our side garage. Hello. Hello. This has been like Jess and Kenzie's baby and you guys just absolutely killed it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. When I was, we had started it before I left for Disney World and then I came back and it was like done. And we have to show you like the before. Yes. Because like, I mean, as far as like we painted the floor, we painted cement, we caulked like <laughs> on the thing. Like it was crazy, but like, I feel like it turned out so good. It did. You guys did the damn Love thing it. and it freaking paid off. This is so cool. Okay, shall we do a tour? Okay, for starters, our shelf, that's just for decoration, just because, you know, cute vibes. <laughs> cute little welcome mat. Also, this is our AC. We have an AC unit in here, which is so nice. <laughs> We have, so we'll put, whenever we shoot in here, we'll have the production schedule printed just so that it's easier, everyone can see it. We don't have to like pull it up on our phones and stuff. Then obviously like the fun part. Yes. We have like a vanity so that girls can like get ready. It's like extra seating. We have like stuff that people would like need, whether it's like, you know, hair ties and bobby pins and everything. We just fully stocked. Fully stocked. Um, actually, we do need to talk about this light since I burned my finger making it. Um, and, <laughs> and it's so cute. I need it to be worth it. It's our little butterfly light. It's so cute. We wanted like Y2K elevated little yeah. touches and that's... So it's like just little hints of little things. Um, obviously, like our videographer came and rigged the lighting for us mm -hmm. so that we have like permanent lighting that we can just switch on. It makes it nice and easy and also it's so much better than what we had before yeah oh my gosh it's like night and day like also these are neat because if we ever need to move them it's a lock a lever and you just go to the next spot and oh my god that's so nice crazy they're called variables or something it's like that. yeah it's also controlled from an app so um, we can literally like once we figure that out you know <laughs> okay when we're filming obviously the blackout curtains will be here but it is nice just to have some natural lighting too when we want yeah this is where we'll film once we do you know maybe diys or unboxing or stand-up shots to show full outfits but or when we're not filming working in here yeah <laughs> yeah so so right now this is set up for unboxing because that's the first thing Jaden and I are doing in the video we're doing today we're trying Amazon costumes so we have this set up for unboxing and then we just have so much more space this way than we did in the upstairs studio so when we're doing the actual try on camera will back up table and chairs will go and you can actually see everything. Everything. <laughs> we also have a lot more space, and it's like we have our own dedicated little studio now. Yeah. So and it's separate from the house, which I think is really nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't have to rent a space really ever again. Yeah, so it's like it's like perfect. But yeah, I feel like it came together well. You guys killed it. I am <laughs> like you. just over the moon. It makes me like so excited to film. Yeah, I know. Honestly, same. Like, <laughs> I just can't believe we're standing in it. And then there is a super fun thing. Uh, Kenzie, will you move the curtain just a little? I want to like yeah. show, show it. Um, if I can find the... Oh, there we go, yeah. <laughs> There's a, um... A little light. A fun... It's a light, but it's also a Bluetooth speaker. Oh! <laughs> you can just Bluetooth connect and play music. Which that I thought would be so nice, nice for when, obviously, we're not filming or for in-between. Yeah, and like when we're doing do posing B-roll, we're wanting to like pump ourselves exactly. up. But I mean, we were in here painting one of the days and it was raining. And we had the garage door open, listening to some emo music, and we're like... 
Hold on. This is a moment. This is a, this is a <laughs> So cool, you guys. Thank you so for cool. letting us gut your garage. Yeah. <laughs> Sierra wanted a fun color in her color palette, and so we picked this gorgeous baby blue. So I have it tucked pretty. away right now, so it's not in the shot, but uh, we'll be able to shoot try on or even sit in chats with that instead of this white background, which I'm so excited for. I love that. I love having the two colors to switch between because the white is like such a great neutral. But the blue is so fun. And I love now that I know that's my, like, that is one of my colors. It is. You're going to look so good. Uh, oh, last little spot. We have this cute little shelf over here. Some waters and snacks and stuff. Equipment. Cute little tree. And these posters. So yeah, that is our new studio here in the garage. And then back upstairs, we have the new sit and chat set. Also rigs lighting from Ruben. Yes. Thank you, Ruben. Look at that lighting over here. We have a little reaction corner. <laughs> 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 and where everyone can sit and chill if uh, there's other people in the room while we're filming. So trying to find dimmable or any kind of light that doesn't flicker on camera is difficult. So I took a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> the string lights returned. I, I, we did order other like remote, but they flickered on camera in a way I could not deal with. Um, so these are not hardwired in. Don't pretend, uh, I'm not gonna pretend that I I did that or know how to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's actually command strips. <laughs> uh, actually, so, on to the next point. <laughs> These are literally command strip to the wall. Are so they that really? we could, we could we, move them as needed instead of silicone gluing them. Right. Also, disclaimer, this is a set. So this is not to scale like, you know, like a normal wall would be. We know. These are actually would be on the bottom, but we had all this empty space and we're like, let's just put them at the top. They're not going to be in the frame anyways. So yeah. that's that. But this, all of this is in frame. So Sierra sits here. Yeah. You show them the frame She's too. like framed by both the sconces and it's just, it gives more depth than just having like a solid background. Yeah. It's like such a perfect balance because we didn't want the background to be like too busy or distracting. Yeah. We wanted it to feel very like minimal and elevated and mature, but also like not just a plain oh, wall. Not right. flat. Yes. It needed to be a little more dynamic and this let it pop off the wall. And I feel like the velvet from here did the same thing. Well, in the it's, shot. it's nice because it kind of just looks like it's like a nice space in your home on camera as opposed to like again, like a blank wall or like really busy and distracting. So on camera, I think it looks really nice, especially with all of this lighting now. Yeah, let's turn the lighting on and show show the shot. Yeah. And I also love that the green velvet couch matches the little green velvet benches over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the cute little posters hanging up here, little gallery wall moment. And just having this rigged lighting is like a game changer. I mean, we couldn't really even walk through here before oh, yeah. when we were filming and now no. it's just like, we have so much space. This space feels so much bigger. Yeah, well, and I think the lighting too in the sit and chat was like kind of a common theme of like, we need to figure something out for that. Yeah. And like this lighting is like amazing. Ruben did such a good job. Yeah, okay, Kenzie, you wanna sit? Look at that. Oh my gosh, the shot, the lighting, you're glowing. Welcome back to my channel, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know. Take your seat, ma'am. First time. Give us a, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Your hair takes up the amount of space I wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> You had to map it out. You're like, okay, her hair will probably go here. No, That's I'm not even I kidding. Had I had Jaden sit and like move her hair so we yeah. knew how much of the square it took. That's so funny. You're my stand in. Yeah, my stand double. Yeah, no, exactly. We're the same. Wow, you guys. I'm so excited. So yeah, that is the revamped set and the new part of the studio. I'm so freaking excited. We're gonna jump into filming the Halloween video like right now. So we get to use the set for the first time, like for real. I'm so, so excited. Unboxing Amazon costumes, take one. Oh. oh, oh, mine is official Disney. Look, Disney princess Ariel. Um, deep sea siren. <laughs> I wanna be. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. It is spooky season and we are kicking things off with a good old brutally honest review. That is a wrap on our first video filmed on the new set. Oh my gosh, I, I'm just so thrilled with the way that everything came out. I'm so excited to go live with the rebrand and just really, really excited for 
everything coming down the pipeline. So many fun videos filling out the end of the year, and I'm just excited to share it all with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for just coming on this journey with me in general through all the changes that I've been through through my time on YouTube and this new era of the channel, especially the Confidence Collective. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.